okay in this example i will teach you how to deal with complex valued functions okay so suppose we take a simple example so now our function is a plus bi and the magnitude of that squared plus c plus di magnitude of that squared okay now this a plus bi this denotes one complex number while c plus di it denotes another complex number so now and so now your function is based on complex values and you should always remember one thing that in this optimization the cost function it should always output something real and not a complex valued function okay so the variables inside for example these can be any complex number but at the end f should be some real number at not complex if f is some complex number matlab would give you an error okay so let's see how you can implement that so first forget about you forget about the top part and consider only this part okay in here uh, i've defined the but i think but better than that i think you should first go to this main function so let's see okay one thing to note here is that in when you're doing complex optimization now your initial guess should be a concatenation of two vectors all right for the first half of the vector you should have the real parts and for the next uh, vector you have you should have imaginary part so what i mean by that is now your initial guess should look like something like uh, what's the initial guess for a let's suppose it's a naught and then what's the initial guess for c okay first we deal with the real parts first so suppose it's c naught and then what's the initial get guess for b suppose it's b naught and then what's the initial guess for d so suppose it's d naught so your initial guess should be in this form it's easier if you first define the initial guesses for this a and c which are the real parts and then you can consider b and d the initial guesses for that so this is exactly what i have done so in here i first define the initial guesses for the real part and then in the next one i define the initial guesses for the imaginary part and then finally i can be combine them so that the final initial gets is something like this so it first have the initial guess for the real part then it has the initial guess for the imaginary part now if you go again to the cost function so in here what i see is in the in this line i see okay how many number of elements are there in this x and if you remember the first half corresponds to the real part so i first take the real part of the x values and then i take the imaginary parts and then i combine them okay now this is said will be a 2 by 1 vector and and this 2 by 1 vector the first vector will correspond to the well, first element would correspond to a plus bi and the second element would correspond to c plus di okay so now after you have defined this uh, z or these two complex values you can simply define your function here the function to be optimized that is this part okay so then uh, so then let's i mean it's then basically it's simple you just need to run it and now you can see you have some f well value and you can see the initial guess real and the initial guess imaginary they are both two by one vectors and the initial guess is now four by one and if you go along these initial guesses you can see these first two ones they correspond to the real parts of the complex numbers and these ones correspond to the imaginary parts and then this we you don't you do not need to consider both values now but you just should know that in here the okay let's also uh, quickly see what the values are so in this means it you have the minimum weights you see the minimum weights so basically this is saying that 
you, you should not forget that minus 1 and minus 1 they are the real parts of the complex two complex numbers so the first uh, complex number be minus 1 plus 0 i okay because it's the in minimum weights the first and third elements correspond to the first complex number and so, so zero times i sorry and then similarly z2 it's minus 1 plus 0 times i it, the reason you are getting zeros is because this function I define is something this I thought of. So, so you should know that. Okay. All right. That's the end of this uh, complex value optimization. So, if you have more questions, you can ask me in the comment section, and I will reply you. So, please subscribe also to my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.